this video we're going to be taking a look at render, ordered and unordered lists with render arrays. We're going to use a preprocess function. We're going to create a render array for ordered and unordered lists. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and here we have a node and we're going to inspect here the content of the node render array and inside of the content separate we're going to add our custom render array so inside of our custom team we're going to create a new file and call it the name of our team dot team and inside of it we're going to be writing php okay. Here we're writing our preprocess and hook functions and we're going to simply implement a function called the name of our team dot preprocess node and we're going to pass the variables array by reference. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and use the devel kint. So we have the devel module installed here and we have also the kint module there together. So as we render here the variables, we're going to see the structure and we're going to see that we have the node array and we have here a content subarray. So inside of the content subarray, we're going to basically declare our render array. So inside of the variables, content, and we're going to declare here our custom list. That's perfect. And it's going to be an array. And the type of our render array, so the team function, for it is going to be item list. It's both for ordered and unordered. And basically we say list type and for a list type, first we're going to say unordered list. And for a title, we're going to say let's say old seven dwarfs we're going to list all the seven dwarfs and we're going to basically list them inside of the items and here we have all the seven dwarfs so we have happy we have sleepy we have sneezy we have also grumpy, we have, oh, this is a hard one, bashful, and we have dopey and duck. That's perfect. And in addition, we may also add attributes. Let's go ahead and add a class just dwarfs list that's perfect so if we save it now and if we jump to our drupal instance and refresh and clear the cache we should basically somewhere here get our unordered list first perfect all the seven dwarfs happy sleepy sneezy grumpy bashful, dopey, and duck. That's perfect. So here is our unordered list. And if we inspect, we should also get the class called dwarfs list. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and quickly change it to ordered list. 
and that's simply by changing the list type from UL to OL to order list. So we save and clear the cache. And there we go. Now our list of the dwarfs is a ordered list. Perfect. If you like this video, please check the links in the description, subscribe, comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.